Hello beautiful people, you're tuning in to 106.1 FM, Wellington Access Radio. You're here with Mikhail, Leah, Mia, and we have a special guest in the studio. Tougher banger. TB. 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 Cozy Apparel himself. Uh, Cozy Apparel. <coughs> you are Mr. Cozy Apparel. Yeah, that's me, that's me. Alright. All right, we got we got some new blood on the deck, so um, <laughs> first day. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let him lead this conversation. Yes. Okay. So I, I'm just gonna sit back here and chill. <laughs> no, you, you have to join in. You, you, you have to join in. <laughs> you have to join in. Okay. So, Tamvania, talk to me. Talk to you. What do you wanna Big know? Big day today, bro. What's Big happening? day. Big day. Um. So today we are actually hosting, a, uh, a, a gig at the Grand. I've teamed up with. Three other brands, uh, Wellington-based brands, um, just to show love back to the So Cozy is, is my brand. Um, we um, started back in like 2018. Um, I started 18, off with, with yeah 1819 mm -hmm. with Mikel himself. Um, we um, actually started off selling rap rap t-shirts. Was it? Um, ninth year. Yeah. Old school. Old school rap tees. <laughs> um, just because I was so keen into designing, and then people were just like at school were like, you should put that on a tee. You should put that on a tee, and they were popping at a time. Um, I I printed out like ten to fifteen t-shirts, mm -hmm. and then they sold out at school, and then uh, after that I was like, oh, I should, you know, put a name behind it. Yeah. And then uh, we came up with some trucker hats. Uh, we put out about 20 of those. They sold out in like an hour. So I was like, oh wow, this is actually so people really. I was I was here in 2018. Where was this all happening in Wellington? Because I um, missed this this uh, so wave. It was actually before like, it was just start, like Tuffer just brought the idea on. We're like, clothing brand, cozy apparel, we'll do this, we'll do that. Just push out clothes and stuff or whatever people want. Uh, yeah. We'll do the truckers. And, and it was just on like Instagram. And, and, um, Instagram? And, Instagram, yeah, Instagram. Um, literally, my Snapchat story. Mm. That's all I was uploading. Uh, uploading my. So how my, how were people finding you? Like, like it was just all friends support at the time. Okay. Like it was literally people that followed me, and I followed them back, and then it just grew from just sharing. Yeah. And then uh, selling from from your home. Yeah, selling from my 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 couch. The cabin, bro. The cabin, cabin. My cabin. I have my my cabin in my house. So what suburb are you? What suburb are you in? I'm from Upper Hutt. I'm that's why. We didn't know about it, it was enough. Um, <laughs> five oh one eight. Yeah. Oh, we're getting Wellington wide English. Right. We're getting international. International. Actually. That's right. well. You're on the Black House now. Like you're gonna get international. No doubt about it. See what happened to Jertu where after they came on here. Oh, really? It they, blew up. It went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, he's out of well. stock. So. That looks like I'm at the right place. So cozy, <laughs> cozy. Why the name cozy? Cozy. So um, the whole mm -hmm. meaning behind the name was um. Um, so I, I, I am religious, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian, and the whole meaning behind the name was just to, my mom always told me never to get too comfortable with life, um, like God's always going to throw challenges at you, and uh, um, you know, um, you're always going to have new challenges to face, and you're going to have to bounce back, um, no matter how hard it is, and so behind that, not getting too comfortable feeling, I wanted to make an apparel that was comfortable, so right. I just came up with cozy, cozy, and then the whole slogan was fear God and stay cozy, mm -hmm. but you know, no, yeah. don't get too comfortable, it was like, yeah. But stay just, comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> stay cozy, stay cozy, that was it. Yeah. What do you feel when you're cozy? When you're cozy, what do you think? You're comfortable, Me? you're yeah. relaxed. I'm warm and I'm wrapped up in blankies, yeah, exactly. and I'm watching Netflix, yeah, and exactly. I'm... And I'm probably, what else would I be doing? Two glasses. I would be having a glass or something. Yeah. Uh, I just be like, yeah. yeah. That sounds like yeah. my hoodie. That sounds like my hoodie. That's okay. <laughs> I had to go and buy me a onesie this week because I yeah. was just like, I saw them for $13 yeah. and I was like, I need that. 13 I need that in my life. That's not that, that, is a, that is a steal. I yeah. thought they were like 75 Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's, yeah, I got it for $13. But... I think like, but cozy is kind of like, yeah. I kind of like, mm -hmm. I kind of like the vibe of cozy. Mm. There's nothing else like cozy in my life. And let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah, life is gonna throw challenges at you, but damn, why couldn't it just not throw challenges at us? Like, oh, why can't know. we just Goodness. be I cool? Just, like, what think, kind of god does that to people? I, I think challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I think when when the challenges are thrown at you, it's just 
it's a learning curve. Same so um, mm-hmm. you need them to to be able to grow. You're not gonna you're not gonna grow without without the challenges. Because I feel like all the challenges that have been thrown my way have made me the person that I am today. So mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. you're definitely a go getter. So uh-huh. you got this brand. Yeah. How's the sales? What's the happening? The sales are insane like we've sold out every single drop wow so sometimes in less than an hour that's insane and and are they all local sales or they no. all, from all over the world they we've gone international we've gone international the the craziest country i probably got is like afghanistan really yeah the craziest but but we're pretty deep into aussie like we're starting to get deep into aussie um it started off like local and then we reached out to other city so i would like post like um oh, all the local deliveries are done um out of city posting tomorrow but now it feels crazy because i'm saying all the local are done out of city tomorrow international. and then international is shipped yeah. as well so how how is it shipping internationally from new zealand because like my son tried to send me perfume yeah. And he goes, actually, mum, I'm just going to carry it on a carry-on because it's <laughs> too expensive. They want like they want like five thousand dollars to send you two boxes of perfume, <laughs> and they don't want anything with alcohol. Close in day. It. Huh? You can't buy it open. Yeah, it you gotta. You, yeah, so I'm just going to carry it, and next yeah. time I'm here. Well, I, I ship I ship from home. Um, f- when I first started, it was very difficult because I was shipping through like NZ Post. And oh, well, I still do that sort of, but um, going through another, another like third party. Um, there's a there's a there's a company called Go Sweet Spot, and it's a New Zealand company. Yeah. And they actually help you manage your like you can with your website you can hook it up, and they help you manage and the the, the prices are a bit lower, but uh, it help help you manage all your all your orders and you can ship them all at once. So mm-hmm. what I do is um I ship uh, I pack all my orders. And then I can print, I have a label printer at home, mm-hmm. I can print out all like a hundred, hundred orders, slap on the tags, and then I could either drop it off, just drop it off at the post office, or I can get the courier, I can click the courier to come pick it up, yeah. and then they'll, they'll do that, and then they'll just give me an invoice at the end of, end of the month. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Would you think they'll ever get as cheap as the Chinese shipping prices, like um, free? Um, probably <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Everything yeah, what's made. the trick to getting the free... I'm still trying to hack that. Right, yeah, to... there's got to be a hack for that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm really I'm really keen to know more about what is happening tonight, because you've got something yes. happening tonight. Yeah. Big event. Um, do you want to go to a track first? And yeah, then yeah, we'll yeah. Come back. Can play yeah. Let's play something real quick. All right, what are we going into? So we have Airplane Mode by Juju Lips. Okay, we are back. You are tuned into 106.1 FM. Wellington Access Radio. So the first song we had was Airplane Mode by Juju Lips. How did you guys think? Ah, oh, I think she's just going from strength to strength. Where is she from? South Africa. She is? Oh, yeah. Okay. And she lives in Auckland. Auckland. Oh yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, second we had so by the way, this is Afro Kiwi today only. <laughs> Nothing else. Just Afro Kiwi. <laughs> African artists in New Zealand. Absolutely. We had Asha Too Bright. Where is Asha from? Asha, Asha, oh, Asha, Asha is it from Auckland as well? Okay. I looked her up. I actually thought she was, I actually thought she was from Australia, but she's not. And that is the first time I've played a track on, on, on yeah, well, the first time you played because you're on yes. the first <laughs> <laughs> And the last one, the third one we had was Hometown Hero Wagwan. Wagwan. Our local, our local Hometown yes, Hero. Our, I was in his music video. Mm. You were in his you were in his music video? Yeah, I was in Blame. The, Blame. The Blame. Oh, really? That was, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's I my think, favorite song. I yeah. Was in Blame. The energy for that is crazy. So yeah. let's get into what's happening tonight. Tonight, yes. Tonight. No. Oh, okay. So tonight. Um, so it's a three seasons event, right? Three seasons event. It's um, four. Um, so it's hosted by three brands. Mm-hmm. It's uh, my brand, uh, Cozy Apparel. Then we have Background and Drought Apparel, which are other Wellington brands. That were um, also also good friends, um, so we just decided to come together and as a way to show love back to the community that supports us, um, host something that um, everyone can get involved in. Um, we've also got um, 
some upcoming Wellington artists um, on the on, and DJs. On do you the, have any names of the artists? Um, yeah, well, we got what do we got? We got Rip, um, if Ify, um, quickly was, look them up, look them yeah, up. Let me, let me have a look. <laughs> so we got Rip opening, then we got Zion, uh, Fani. Ify, who's a Nigerian someone. Mm -hmm. Wow. Great, yeah, that's one of that is interesting. Oh, is that the one that I, uh, the, the, the post that I put up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was right. About and then we have a DJ. And are these guys rappers or what? Um, what's the yeah. music genre? So we got rappers and DJs. Cool. Yeah, so we're, tonight we're going um, DJ, rapper, DJ, rapper, DJ, rapper. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. What time do you start? So we were... the doors open? Uh, we're opening the doors at 10, 10 p.m. tonight and we're uh, closing at 3, 3 a.m. So there's no need to go anywhere else but the grand. But the grand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and, and how much is it for people to get in the door? Well, uh, first we did three releases online. Um, the first sales, uh, we did tickets at five dollars entry. They sold out. Second release was ten dollars. They sold out. Third release, we're up to third release, but it's about to sell out because um, the venue uh, venue capacity is only uh, four hundred people. Um, yeah. So we're that's almost, about the same as Eva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about the same. I as low key yeah. like Eva's. Have you seen Eva? You have seen Eva Beaver set up. Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, they have a projector at the Grand, but right. those TV screens look so nice. Yeah, yeah. that they had up. But, those um, the door sales will be twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. But so it was basically like get in there quick before um, it got got too expensive and are you guys selling any merch yeah so we are selling t-shirts on the night we've made some some t-shirts three seasons t-shirts with um, all the brand logos on it that will be running the event um they'll be priced at 60 dollars, but it's cash only so. cash only please no <laughs> yeah. Xbox. even though it's 2023 <laughs> yeah cash only to get the merch yep. yeah right and it's not um the normal merch it is just three seasons merch three seasons yeah so, so if you don't get it tonight you're never getting one ever again yeah so what's the when it, when is are you gonna have your cozy stuff there or you don't have it there? Um no I do no I don't have any stock left. I did a wow. drop drop mm -hmm. like a month ago and it sold out. So so when are you getting some more cozy stuff? Because I think I have to buy it. I um, have to be supportive to the yes. youth. Yes. I have to buy my hoodie. Yes. Yeah. Um. Well, we did. <laughs> we've done two drops of the of the winter collection. Um, first drop was a hundred and fifty hoodies. Right. They sold out in like a couple of hours, so we dropped a couple of hours. A couple of hours, we sold out, and then so I doubled it, three hundred hoodies this time sold out. Mm -hmm. Um, less less maybe two days or something. Yeah. Uh, it was all it was all gone. Well, pro we did a new colorway. We did, we have four colorways. We've got a brown, a uh, light blue, cream, and a black. Yeah. And the new colorway was um, the brown and it sold out in literally five minutes. I mm -hmm. saw a picture of the brown and I liked that it brown. Was, yeah, it was the brown is a nice color. Yeah. Literally five like, minutes. Like my, like my cream boots. Yeah. It's a mellow color, you can wear with everything. Yeah. Everything. It's a win winter <laughs> color too. So are you planning on dropping any other pieces um, coming up? Yeah, well we were um, hoping to get some, some sweat, sweat pants to yes. match, match the hoodies. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to drop them before winter finishes but you know New Zealand it's, it's always cold, it's cold. cold. It's it doesn't cold. really matter yeah it's cold <laughs> right up into de until December yeah really you could get you could get rid of hoodies yeah for, right through yeah. um can I just ask you about your designs like yeah. do you create the designs yourself yeah yeah I do create the designs I, I, I love designing um so um it's yeah it's fun to me but um I've had help from like just posting on my story because I, I do designs and then I do like polls and people vote and then yeah. whatever gets the most vote um, that's, I, so that's, ingenious. What I, that's what I drop that's, what that's I drop. so ingenious yeah. I love the way um, young people are using technology yeah that way yeah. and using social media to create income it's yeah. good how he's also having the people get involved because at the end of the day they're the ones being they're the ones wearing it yeah so they want to they you know so and, and the, the fact that they have input into what they're going to buy is something that not other brands are yeah. doing are you are you inspired to um step because it's kind of sportswear casual wear right yeah or well, it's yeah casual wear are you yeah. are you kind of inspired to get into other kinds of designing like for you know maybe more flash yes what um, is the plan for cozy um there's mm. not really a plan i'm just literally just going with the flow mm. um 
I never thought that I would. I've never even had like a birthday party. <laughs> this is literally my first like Bro, gathering. True. What do you mean you've never had a I've, birthday party? Like I've had a birthday party, but like I've never, like even for my twenty first, I've never really been like. You know, like, oh, I need to throw a party. I need to have 50 people hosted, there. Yeah. I need to never host hosted anything. Yeah, and okay. then to think about the first thing that I'm hosting. So is it also your birthday today? No, 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 it's oh. not. It's not my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but just to think about the first thing that I'm hosting is a 400 people event. Mm, it's right. just like Crazy. insane. So that's what I mean by like, I'm just going with the flow and just seeing, you know, where life takes me. And it's going pretty well at the moment. So I'm just not going to question it. How did. You and Mikhail me. Oh my day. How does how did how did this combo happen? How do we meet? Because I know you help him with cozy, right? How do we meet me? Snapchat. Snapchat. So you are you his marketer? No, we would just be friends forever. Okay. And he's never had really any other friends, so. <laughs> Whoa, really? Yeah, oh the idea of um, cozy apparel. Like, <laughs> no other friends. That's what he said. He goes. Me, I don't want to work 9 to 5 for the rest of my life. <laughs> Nobody wants I need to do that. Be, I need to be my own boss. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't wanna, you don't want to be micromanaged for the rest mm. of your life. Like, that sucks. No, it literally happened because um, it's just mutual friends in Wellington. And it, it happened because we were all African. To be right. Honest. Yeah. 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 That's, that's just how like, you had a shared identity. Yeah. So, like, you now, and you guys are all... Even though you're like from different parts of Africa, you're all working together, and yeah. I love it. Um, I think it's really inspiring. Yeah. Like, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what is your age? My age. Yeah. Um. How should I say? Nah, I should, I, I'm. I'm 21. <laughs> I'm 21. Like you're a kid. Yeah. Yeah. But this is amazing. Like, and you've been doing this well from the sounds of it. You've been doing it since you're about 18, 17? Um, probably younger. I've been making oh the brand alone, yeah. or just like yeah. social media. Like no, the brand. The brand. I've been yeah about twenty eighteen. Wow. Yeah, maybe nineteen because I was I was doing. Nineteen it was when it got going. Yeah. Twenty eighteen was the idea. Was so that's sure. like you're like about fifteen, sixteen years old. Yeah. The age, right? Um. Because seventeen. 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 That's five years ago. Oh, true. No way. It's wow. five years ago. Wow. We so are, that means we're getting old. Well. <laughs> if we, oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's not five years say, ago. Um, don't lie. Um, that's not something to stay in the room right now. I think... <laughs> like when they say I'm 21 and I'm getting old. Oh, um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you didn't read the room. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here with one foot in the grave. We started off with, we started off with Aroha by Cesar Mufuta. Yes. I love that song. That was my first time hearing it too. And and also, he's actually speaking to Rao. And the song. Well, yeah, yeah, as well as Shauna, Shauna, from what I've been told. Yeah, because yeah. Tafa understood everything he said. <laughs> yeah. He Sometimes we me. take our headphones off, so we're hearing it, but it's not like right in our ears. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the next song was... We had Caminando by Z. And I was all the way from... Kajaro. He's from Wellington, but he's posted in Dunedin. I thought... Right? No, he's from Dunedin. Is he from Dunedin? Oh, yeah. So he's been here before. We've interviewed him before. This is actually on our um, on our YouTube channel. Oh, okay. um, and then next we had Boku, Fadiso, and Shinonso. And Shinonso's just put out a real um, an album a few months ago, and it's a really good one. So do look it up. And Fadiso's actually just put out a track, which we'll probably finish off with, which. Um, it just came out, I think, in the last couple of weeks. Mm. And last song was Now I'm Whole from Masbo Q. And Masbo Q is just on fire right now. Uh, he's been on the show. Where's Masbo Q from? Masbo Q is Nigerian Q. Wow. Yeah. I love Nigerians. And yeah, yeah, Masbo Q. Probably my favourite Africans, to be honest. Nigerians. Mm -hmm. I love Nigerians. Do you like, which, do you, which, which Nigerians do you like? I don't know. <laughs> That's about to cause a war. I uh, uh, I like all of you. Burner boy. <laughs> I like Burner boy. I like Burner boy. <laughs> but you're Nigerians. How do, Burner Burner how do we get Burner boy? How do we get Burner boy to come to New Zealand? Um, I think oh, eventually it will just happen. Dude. Well, Davido's coming. I've written to him. Davido's really? coming to New Zealand. Mm. Is he really coming? He's, He's coming. coming. He's the coming. week after. Listen, listen in. in. So that's next year. No, no, it's in September. It's September. 
No, no, no. no. Eden Fest. No, no, no. October. October. Let's yeah, let's October. say it as October first, and then it's the weekend we after. The um, Eden Fest. Yeah. Eden Fest. Look, I think that if you can design clothes that get sold off the rack. Yeah. Within twenty four hours. Yeah. You can bring Burner Boy to New Zealand. <laughs> I think you have the superpower. <laughs> Burner. He just went to I would love that. <laughs> Big burns. <laughs> Don't you guys. Okay, I I wanted to I wanted to ask you, because you know we're having a lot of lot of fun in here today. Yeah. I wanted to ask you a little bit about your upbringing, like um, you're you're Zimbabwean, you're yeah. born in Zimbabwe. Yes, I'm okay. in Zim. Yeah, go. I'm Zim. I was born in um, Harare, Zimbabwe, and I came here in about two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight ish. And you uh, were like four. Four, five. Four, or five. Six. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it was a long time. It was a long time. time. <laughs> but um, I came here and I lived in um, uh, Auckland. I think it's South Auckland. Pakuranga. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, I know Pakuranga. And then I moved. That used to be the flash part of town. Is it still? No. Nah, it's think, not. I don't think it is because when I tell people that, they're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <'cause laughs> they're like, oh. Because I tell people, oh, I like Wellington better than Auckland. And they say, oh, well, what, which part of Auckland? And I go, Pakuranga. And they go, oh, that's why. Oh. That's, That's weird, because <laughs> when I was growing up in Auckland, Pakaranga was the flash part. Really? Oh, right. It was, yeah, it was yeah. like, yeah, it was the flash part. I don't know Auckland. I, 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 miss, like I miss that train. I miss yeah. That train. I cannot live in Auckland. So I went to the dogs. Okay. Yeah, and then I moved. <laughs> <laughs> moved here when I was about year four. We moved to um, Upper Hutt. Well, What's year four? Um, grade four. Year four I grade was four. in, no, I'm from another era, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we, we had grade standards in primary. Yeah, it's standard four. Yeah, stand oh, Wait, standard. Wait, did you have standards? Yeah. We had standards in South Africa. Yeah, standards. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Uh, that, that's another era. Standard I don't, you know, like my, I didn't even know what class my kids were. <laughs> after yeah, class. and then it was, it was class like, one, numbers. class two. Yeah. 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 yeah, too many what? numbers and I never did math. South Africa was exactly like that. Mm. It was easier with standards. Standards? Prim one to I've four. Never had that. And then standard one. Did you guys have matric? No. Final exams. No, oh, trip. we, yeah. yeah, well, we had, um, we had a school certificate oh, yeah. in, in Form 5, because mm. after you get out of the standards, then you go into the forms. Yeah, I've heard about forms. Yeah. Form yeah. One, form two, That's like my three. dad's school. <laughs> yeah. So, like, okay, so you got yeah. here in year standard four. <laughs> yeah, got into Wellington in standard four, <laughs> and... Yeah, I went to prime the primary for about uh, two years, Bridgeville School. And what was then, it like being in Upper Hutt? Um, it was it was fine. Were there a lot yeah. of Africans up there? Or? No, 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 no. I, I did not know. Yeah, what was it like at school for you being obviously not from here? Well, I was I was the only black guy at my school. I think. Yeah, I think I was the only black guy at my school. Um, it was it was alright, but I I think I had to um, you know adjust to to the culture here. Yeah. And I feel like that's why I'm so, you know, like, I can get along with everyone here everyone. because I I think I've just been pushed into that. Yeah, that you project. have to acculturate a yeah. little bit, eh? Yeah. Just to handle it. Yeah. Because if, did you, because I, like, I've said on many times in the show, basically growing up around Māori and Pacific people, you, I had to. Yeah, yeah. Just definitely. move the way they moved. Yeah. If I didn't move the way they moved, like. Fights on. <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah. Like when I first moved here, I didn't have any African friends, obviously. And yeah. um, the first people I was in a clique with that felt like home was, was Islanders. Yeah. Mo Mo yeah, Maori and Pacific. Yeah. Like we'll be in class, and you know I'd get told off with 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 all my the boys. Mo with all the boys, and they'll be like, they'll be like, oh, is it because we're black? But <laughs> and I was like, oh, we're we're black. <laughs> yeah, we're black. <laughs> <laughs> do your parents do your parents get that 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 sort of are they are they into sort of like it moving with Pacific Island and Maori people the same way that you do? um my parents oh I, I don't I don't really, I, I don't think so maybe no nah, my parents are more like they got their own community um like my parents when they came here obviously they were trying to find other people from like the same place so yeah. we we did have a lot of like um zim like mutuals mm -hmm. but um there wasn't really many like my age like their kids 
Yeah. So, I don't know, I, I was pretty apart from that, but yeah. Do you have any family that lives in New Zealand? No, no. So you're all so you're all by yourself too? Yeah, we're we're all by ourselves, but we're pretty spread out. Like we've got Australia, um, UK, Dubai, yeah, Namibia. Like we're pretty spread out. Everyone yeah. just like basically we left Zim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> left, left Mugabe back back there when he was <laughs> still alive. Yeah. Yeah. So you get to go back. You said before. I don't know if yeah. you said it on here, but you said before you get to go back every couple of years. Yeah, every couple of years. Um, to two, three years, unless there's like an emergency that we have to go back, mm. um, but yeah. And what's that like each time you go back, like do um, you feel like you're sort of going, oh, I have to, yeah, I have well, to adjust when, myself when, again. Whenever I go back there, they like, um, you know, when I try to like talk to people, I don't even realise that I have like an accent. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. yeah, you got a Kiwi you accent Yeah, like flame. a Kiwi, Kiwi, I'll be getting, I'll be getting on, under the grill, like, why are you talking like that? <laughs> <laughs> like what? What do they say it sounds like? What like does Shauna I, sound like with a Kiwi I, accent? I have no idea. <laughs> apparently I sound like a girl. That's what my cousins what? tell me. What? Oh. Yeah, apparently <laughs> I sound like a girl. When I speak Shauna, I was like, wow, okay. That's okay. crazy. Apparently, the, why does your... They're like, you speak English, you're right. But as soon as you start speaking Shauna, your voice rises. And I'm like, man, I don't know. Maybe it's my brain trying to trying to do <laughs> doing too much. <laughs> or it could be like you know how like some some kids have a way that they speak to their parents and yeah. they raise their voice up. And so if the only time you're Maybe speaking Shauna, you're speaking to your parents. Maybe it's yeah. It's the baby voice. It's the yeah, baby voice. Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> that could be it actually. That could be it. Yeah. And when you go back, all the hand-me-downs, I'm guessing you oh, leave no. with a closet. Yeah, I, 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 we leave. Come back with nothing. We leave with six bags, come back with my phone. Yep. That's <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly <laughs> what happened to me. Nike's yeah. gone. Everything. Jordan's oh, gone. Everything. Everything. Adidas gone. Because <laughs> it'll fit one kid in yeah. Africa. Yeah, someone. <laughs> and someone, then will someone in the Even if it doesn't fit, they got it. <laughs> they <laughs> fit. I'll go into it. <laughs> Everybody but that must be... Hey? Everybody becomes your little sister when you're back. Oh, oh, you're your little brother. And they're like, oh my you. god, yeah. oh my god, I left you when you were so little. Yeah, I have no yeah. idea who you're you like, are. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Cousin, cousins and nieces, like ne nieces and nephews. Yeah. 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 Some people, I don't even know who they are. I have no idea, but they leave with a the bag. They they leave leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got siblings, siblings here? Yeah, I've got um one sibling, um Taku. He um he's seventeen now. Shout out Taku. Shout out Taku. Um, he plays basketball for um quite a bit. He, he's made a lot of under under seventeens, under eighteens. In in Wellington. Wellington, um, yeah, he's gone. Even played over in Melbourne. He had a tournament, and he's got some scholarship offers in the states. Ooh, so he's next nice. up. See, oh, could be. He's next up. Yeah. Say this. Yeah. That's some black excellence. So now that you're, you know, this 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 mogul of um, new fashion. Yeah. The cozy wear. Yeah. Um, does that go towards your international trips? Because it's so expensive to travel to Africa. Um, no, I've never actually touched any money from, from Cozy or anything. Everything that I've made was just gone back straight into the brand. Whenever I go on trips, whenever I go to Africa, or I recently went to, to Indonesia, Right. Um, it's all my money. I work, work pretty hard. Like, I did... Um, fifteen hour shift the other day, and I'm still I'm studying as well, a full time. What do you study? What do you study? I do computer science, information systems at Victoria University. Whoa, you got and to with my homework. <laughs> yeah, and your science. your advice on this thing called AI. AI. Yeah. Uh, um, Leo, AI. this is the AI man. AI. You're the AI this man. Is the AI man. AI, AI is, um, this is my guy. AI is, is literally the future, I think. Mm. I said that last year, like at the beginning of last year, I posted on my story. I said AI is is the future, and I posted it, and uh, I don't know. I didn't. It just took off after that. Mm. But not saying that I made it. <laughs> but but when I saw it, I was like, wow, this is gonna take off. But obviously, there's things like Chat GBT and all that yeah. that are getting. You banned at uni and are they banning them? Yeah, they they. People are getting so How can mad. they tell? Um, just because some people people are lazy and they don't um realize because at the end of the day it's a computer generating that. So when they ask, 
AI, um, he's like, I can write you a whole essay. Yeah. Ask AI, write me an essay about this, and then they don't proofread it. There'll be errors. There'll be errors in it. Nothing yeah. to do with anything. Yeah. Anyway, we're coming up. We're coming up to the hour. Yep. Yeah. I would like to thank you very much for coming in. Yes, Thomas. Thank, thank you for your time. Um, thank you guys. Give us a rundown again. What, when, where, how much? Go. Um, three seasons event uh, tonight at the Grand starts at ten p.m. Uh, if you don't have a ticket online, it's twenty dollar door sales, but we have a capacity and we've almost reached it. So it's first in, first serve. Mm -hmm. Any comps? Um, any comps? Mm -hmm. Comps? What do you mean? <laughs> so no comps. What do you mean? So don't come to the door and ask to get it for nothing. Bring oh, your twenty dollars. Oh, 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 bring your money. Because there's bounces at the door. There's bounces. We got six of them too. You're not gonna yeah. let that. Six of them. You need six bounces. Is that what they said you needed? Yeah. Well, they said the bounces we had weren't enough for the for the numbers that we got. So. So you, it's gonna be more than four hundred. Um, it should be. I they should be more. Because they opened up a whole new area, the green room for mm. us to have mm. more people. So. I think Hopefully. I think that Cozy and the Black House need to get together about organizing an event. What do you think, Mikhail? Wow. We mm -hmm. could do that. Wow. Yep. I think we need to do that. Yeah. Cozy, the Black House. We've got artists. We've got Cole. We've got artists. We've got DJs. We've got Cole and his amazing hair. We've got vibes. <laughs> <laughs> we've got culture. On and off we have culture. Yeah. I think that's the way to go. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much. For um, much we've got 30, 34 seconds left to go. Anything else you want to say? Oh, Mia, Mia, you've got something coming next week. Go, Mia, go, Mia. Oh, yeah. go, Mia. Um, not next week, but like for the black youth community that's around Wellington, uh, we're going to have a mental health talk. And if y'all want to just come pull up at Vic, um, there's our Instagram, vata.vuw, V-A-D-S-A dot V-U-W. And there'll be a post up there, sign up in the link tree, and I'll see y'all there. Sweet. Lovely. Cozy Apparel on Instagram at cozy.apparel. We're just plugging everything. Plug everything. <laughs> You've got three seconds, two seconds, one second. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.